very good evening all of you after a long time uh, i am taking back the session with microprocessors today so this session is of 2 hours duration uh, i'll try to cover all the related questions regarding your logical arithmetic and the data transfer group of instructions uh, in this particular video uh, generally uh, i have stopped this uh, what we call initiative for a long time few people are asking me for to restart the questions why you stop in the middle as you people knows that your sincerity matters a lot not only mine because you people are not one minute yeah you people are not very regular to the classes i i thought there is no use of taking the classes so i stopped it but somehow i felt that i should not leave any initiative in the middle so i am restarting this but i don't want to take the live uh, but those who want to prepare regularly for those people there should not be any difficulty keeping this in mind what uh, the idea i got it is just to record and leave the videos for you uh, so one by one over a period of time as and when i get the time i'll upload the videos and i'll complete this playlist that is my intention actual based on your live suppose if i upload the video today once it reaches 1k views next video i will release it like that um, next time once it reaches 1k views i'll reach the next video i'll upload like that i'll complete the entire series so at least in that way it is okay for both of us otherwise uh, why should i take every single day class without any student not much number of students are regularly coming to the classes so keeping this for this particular subject i took this initiative but i'll complete the syllabus for you guys okay so this is about me i did my mtech from iit kharagpur i have 10 years of teaching experience in gate and esc throughout the country i am expertized with the subjects of digital circuits network analysis microprocessors analog circuits computer organization and many more last 11 years i taught many th the last 11 years i taught to many thousands of students like you people taught thousands of batches for networks digital microprocessor uh, and other subjects both in the offline and the online so this is about my profile okay and this is my telegram channel t.me shankar 2023 official telegram channel with dan academy i can share that little later also so an academy light for gate and esc subscription where you can get the test series in the lowest possible cost of 1499 for 12 months and 2499 for the 3 months you can use the code shankar10 any time to get the maximum discount so if you have a dream to gate and esc if you have some difficulty with the plus subscription prices you can take half the loan and you can get as low as 2239 per month and creatrix rank improvement is going to start today uh, engineering maths by pallav sir and network theory i need to start but due to my health issues i delayed it for a few days once i recover in 2 3 days i may start that uh, and edc is going to start by gol ankit goel sir so this is the batch and pool of faculty for you gurukul batch also started on october 14th uh, aiming 2024 uh, batch and the creatrix rank improvement batch is going to start today only so hardly you have very few months if you want to start your subscription i mean preparation for gate 2023 already if you have done something with the youtube remaining you want to complete on plus to improve your rank to revise the things like a crash batches this is one of the best batch you can take four month subscription also and complete all the syllabus so get your physical notes delo and delivered to your home you can choose this one 
and all the top educators of the classes milega aapko digital notes milega test series milega customized doubt solving sessions everything you will be getting it if you go for an academy plus subscription but doubt solving pe customized way pe printing notes and one to one mentorship that is guidance chahiye to you should go for iconic subscription okay chalo let's move further so uh, already i hope you remember we are done with few instructions in the last lecture bahut din ho gaya so maybe you might forget uh, move r1 comma r2 to ho gaya move r comma m ho gaya move m comma r bhi ho gaya so baki baki jo instructions hote hai na wo to abhi discuss karte uh, Uh, in the at the data transfer group of instructions we have data transfer group arithmetic group of instructions what we call kya uh, bolte branch transfer machine control stack all those things i gave you in the last lecture so here uh, this data transfer group of instructions move r1 comma r2 move r comma m m comma r to ho gaya so don't want to repeat the same thing again and again so let's move further so the next instruction is lda what is the meaning of lda lda means load accumulator with the 16 bit address accumulator firstly listen carefully uh, what is the size of accumulator size of accumulator is 8 bits you cannot load 16 bits into the 8 bit accumulator so what you what is the meaning of this here instruction is load accumulator directly with the content of the memory whose address is given here this is the address how much address it is a 16 bit address we will specify in the instruction so at that instruction at that instruction sorry at that address you have some data that data will be copied into the accumulator that is the meaning of lda instruction just a moment read this whenever 8085 executes this instruction the accumulator is copied by the content of 16 bit address directly specified in the instruction so let's take the example for example i say lda 3000 suppose if we get some live doubts na we can take one special class there i can clear your doubts also this will save your time because in recorded relatively we may go little fast also suppose okay uh so here suppose uh, at the 8000 location just one
this is your address. So, at this address of 2000, I have written the instruction. So, whenever I say LDA 3000, firstly please understand the meaning of each and every single instruction. Firstly try to understand the meaning of each and every single instruction. After understanding the instruction, when we discuss the programming or once the set arithmetic group is completed, logical group is also completed, then I will explain you or I will show you how we can use these instructions to make a program ok. So, chalo. Uh, yeah. first we need to do op code fetch then memory read memory read. So, which particular registers will read this sir WZ registers these are the temporary registers which are useful for these operations ok. So, WZ registers are useful to do this operation. First PC will give you 2000 and it will increment automatically to 2001, 2002, 2003 it will be doing its part. But to go to that memory location who will take care that WZ will be taking care. Now then it will understand uh, after reading this instruction. Uh, first stage may it will understand it is to copy 3000 into accumulator. So, content of 3000 will be copied into the accumulator. Content of 3000 will be copied into the accumulator. Now, what happens is it will come to this. Okay. Now, here it will come to 3000 load loading the accumulator we are doing. So, This 3000 uh, may what is the number you have 25 that will be copied into the accumulator. This we do memory write. So, accumulator is copied with the 25 that particular number. Understand what I am saying? This is the meaning of load accumulator with 3000 memory location. Okay. So, firstly tell me how many bytes are required for this particular instruction 1, 2, 3, 3 byte instruction. How many machine cycles it is involving op code fetch, memory read, memory read and memory write. So, WZ may whatever this WZ will have this address now at this address it will automatically comes. So, what is that? 4 machine cycles. Op code fetch. 2 memory read one memory write 40 2 into 3t plus 3t 6 plus 3 9 plus 3 13 t states what is the addressing mode it is uh, involving direct addressing mode because the address is directly specified in the instruction and as in any data transfer group no flags affected ok 
no flags are affected. This is a memory read now because you are reading from the memory. Okay, here your address bus is copied with WZ and there it will come and read this and give it to the accumulator. We are reading that. So, Fetch three memory read three T three T. Okay, okay, fine. Next. So similar to load. Let us go for the store instruction. So, just any time load and store are opposite doing the same thing. Uh, just a moment, I think. But in opposite direction. What is the meaning of opposite direction, sir? Suppose load is memory to accumulator, store is accumulator to memory. Okay, the store is accumulator to memory. See here, store accumulator with the 16 bit address. So, store accumulator contains whenever 8085 executes this instruction, contents of accumulator is copied into the memory location of 16 bit address directly specified in the instruction store accumulator with the 16 bit address. Uh, whenever 8085 executes this instruction, the content of the accumulator just reverse. Let me show you. Store. 3000 okay Okay, see here. Say address two thousand, two thousand one, two thousand two. Three thousand is just for example here. Don't take this number very seriously. So it is already having some twenty five hexadecimal. Okay. Uh, store three thousand. Right. Say for example, accumulator is already having forty five. This is initial value. 
Now I say store accumulator with the 3000. Then the content of accumulator. Mm -hmm. Will be copied into the memory location 3000. That is the number 45. Here 45 cannot be in the 3000. In the 3000 location, 45 is copied. Okay. So, firstly, what it will do? It will do op code fetch. memory read memory read then come here w and z will take care of these numbers then wz will be given to the address bus same story and 45 number come to the data bus and the 45 will be copied here this is a memory write operation okay These things last lecture I explained these parts, so I am not touching it again. Right. Now see here. So, LDAXRP load accumulator X, okay, indirectly, okay, with the content of memory location specified by the register pair. I will explain it again, do not worry. Load accumulator indirectly with the content of the memory location pointed by the register pair, okay. So, I say LDAXB, LDAXD. Then what happens is that BC register pair will have some number. So that number BC means two registers na register pair which contains 16 bits. So it will go to that location in the 16 bits uh, address there uh, you have some data that data will be copied. So it is indirect addressing mode. I hope you understand here previously also. I need to specify that as we are doing for every instruction. Hmm. Previously also if you want I can write this uh, regular what we call this Firstly, 3 byte instruction, how many machine cycles, 1, 2, 3, 4 machine cycles and 4 in a, yeah, up code fetch, 2 times memory read one memory write ok so it is 40 plus 2 3 plus 3 t thirteen t what is the addressing mode this case it is just a direct addressing mode only.
no flags are modified or affected with the result okay right so this is about your store and load instructions directly now we are going to discuss store and load indirectly that is the what we call load accumulator indirectly with the register pair specified by the sorry with the with from the address specified by the register pair indirectly store also available okay so load accumulator uh, with the content of the memory location pointed by the indirectly by the register pair specified in the instruction okay so ldx may you have b ldx d that is uh, it is for bc register pair and de register pair it is available okay it is not available with the hl register pair i'll explain the reason little later for example because there is separate instruction which can do that job okay say L D A X B and L D A X D both are available. L D A X H or L D A X H L register pair is also called as M not available. because move a comma m present because move a comma m is present which is same as <coughs> like what is the meaning of this sir just specify b no need to specify bc accumulator is copied with the content of bc register pair that is content of the memory location pointed by bc register pair for example see here say for example bc equal to 2500 just number line so address okay at the address 2000 i have written this instruction ldxb directly op code only then i go to 2500 okay who will have this 2500 bc register pair so uh, here your a15 to a not will be given to bc so it will come here okay then here some number is there say 44 then it will do memory read and it will give it to accumulator understand so if i say ldxb here i write the program it can be any address then it will learn it first it will do op code fetch isko samajh hota hai are bhai next it is a indirect addressing mode bc register pair is having that address we should go to bc register pair and give it to the address bus then address bus come here and here kuch number jo hota hai na wo to read karke data bus ko deke data bus will give to accumulator the same way for example if i say ldx d uh, accumulator is copied with the d register pair got it next mm 
yeah just a moment here you same story it will happen but v ka jagah pe de aati hai uh, now one thing how many bytes it is 1 and 2 let's say 2 byte instruction right two byte instructions and how many machine cycles two machine cycles only na up code fetch and memory read and aur kya how many t states first one 4t states plus 3t states 7t states how many flags are affected sorry what is addressing mode here yes it is register indirect addressing and what are the op code fetch and memory read flags that's all right that is about your ldax load accumulator indirectly with the register pair okay so now let's move to the next set also just a moment okay here is my marker just a moment okay listen here uh So that is about your LDX instruction. Now let's move for the STX. So LDX, STX, all the meaning same only, but the reverse job. So in the STX, so 
in the STAX store accumulator contents into the memory location pointed indirectly by the register pair. I will show you, see here. Same story, reverse. Here also, this RP can be BC and D. There is no STAX H because we have move. R comma M. Say for example, B C equal to uh, twenty five hundred, and accumulator is having some number forty five. If I say store accumulator with B simply. I just say that store the content of accumulator with the register BC. Now what happens? Say. Uh, This is my address, say some 2000. Here I have this uh, store instruction, opcode. Then computer will read, it will understand, yes, it should copy the content of uh, accumulator to the memory pointed by the BC register pair. So what is the memory pointed by the BC register pair is 2500. So in, it will go to 2500 and copy the content of accumulator. So, a 2500 I will go, here some 22, some number is there, randomly taken. Now what happens so this 2500, accumulator is copied with 2500 right, mm, yeah. Now the content of 2500 memory location is copied with the accumulator existing value. So it will come here, it will do memory write. How it will come with the help of the register pair specified, this will be given to the address bus. So, 22 is replaced with 45 that's all ok. Here same story, one byte instruction only, sir why one byte instruction sir because only one byte of memory is required. Outside this instruction point of view only one byte, outside maybe it requires another byte that is external memory. I mean that is the um, outside the instruction that can be any address. It is for the I mean for the instruction it requires only one byte. So that is one thing. Second thing how many machine cycles? Two machine cycles. What are they? Opcode fetch. 
प्लस मेमोरी राइट फोर टी प्लस थ्री टी सेवन टी वॉट इज द रिज एड्रेसिंग मोड वी आर यूजिंग रजिस्टर पेयर फॉर द एड्रेस रजिस्टर इन डायरेक्ट हाउ मेनी फ्लैग्स आर एफेक्टेड नो फ्लैग्स आर so here the address bus is copied with the bc perfect that is about your load and store instructions for directly indirectly let's move we have done move also next next instruction lda is already over right yeah uh, direct indirect now another load is there called immediate load immediate store is not available because it's of no meaning accumulator ko immediately store karna kaha pe store karna theek hai so load immediately Uh, the accumulator with the specified number given in the instruction okay our load immediately uh, sorry load accum sorry i'm sorry small change load accumulator from the address is what we have discussed now load immediately lxi load immediately if you remember this code you don't need to remember the entire instruction meanings and all automatically it happens load I, i for immediately the register pair generally x comes for the register pair okay lda x stx etc like that uh, register pair with the 16 bit data load the specified register immediately with the 16 bit data given in the instruction okay so what happens in this instruction is in the instruction itself uh, i mean op code itself contains the register pair the um, whether you need to copy to bc de hl sp it will be specified in the instruction then we also give the immediate data in the instruction itself so the entire data will be copied into the specified register pair टिल नो अवर इंस्ट्रक्शन आर यूजफुल जैसा हमने अभी तक जो इंस्ट्रक्शन किया ना ये सारे इंस्ट्रक्शन आर ओनली फॉर क्या बोलते हैं एक रजिस्टर पे कर सकते हैं ये रजिस्टर पेर में ओके दैट इज टू बाइट्स एट ए टाइम विल बी लोडेड मे बी इट रिक्वायर्स मोर मशीन साइकिल्स दैट्स ए डिफरेंट एट ए टाइम इट विल नॉट हैपन बाइट बाई बाइट इट विल हैपन बट टू बाइट्स इन ए सिंगल इंस्ट्रक्शन ओके सो लेट सी so in lxi we have b comma 16 bit data all these are instructions available lxa bc de hlsp we don't specify bc in by default it's a register pair only so for example 
BC equal to 3000 okay and yeah for example I say BC equal to 3000 kya lay lay mean no meaning no LXI B comma 3000 is the instruction I am going to write. In this case, mein kya hota hai, sir? my BC register pair is copied with the 3000 memory location. Sorry, not memory, direct data. Here I for immediate data only. That is B will get 30, C will get 00. If it is 3500 or 3242, 32 will come to here, 42 will come to here. No need to take all zeros, it is your, I have taken that random number. Say for example, this is the address. take any random address no problem lx sign okay bc whatever may be that op code is this part na is may b ho sakte d e ho sakte hl ho sakte sp ho sakte this part mm -hmm. i have already shown that if you want yeah this is LXA and this part will decide the register pair which you are going to select it. This last lecture I have already given you. So BC register, DE register pair, HL register pair, SP register pair, these bits will decide it. That is uh, D3, D5, D4 bits. Okay. And this D1, D0, D2, D1 bits will decide LXA code is 100. So based on this 100, Okay, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, op code will decide it uh, whether it is uh, this which particular instruction. Okay, because move pay it is 1, 0, because it is LXE it will be 0, 0. Like that we can form the code for it. It is not required for us just for understanding I am explaining that. Uh, yeah, where are we? Right. So, this is uh, uh, the code corresponding to this instruction which contains B also. That is we are doing for BC, it automatic computer automatically uh, once it reads the opcode, it will understand. Then it will automatically read the next byte and give it to the BC register pair, read these two. Because it is a little Indian processor, first we always store lower byte, then we always store the higher byte of the data you want to copy. So, the first byte will be copied to C, second byte will be copied to the B. The number is same, but first while writing into the memory itself, first we write the lower byte, next we write higher byte, that is while saving into the memory I am saying. Then we will copy in that way, first C will be taking it, next B and you will get BC equal to 3000 only, whatever you required. That lower byte uh, will be stored in the memory 
in the first location little indian processor which we discussed already in the earlier classes okay so now let's do some conclusions Three byte instruction, right? Directly take it and throw it to the register. Next, opcode fetch, memory read, memory read. Opcode fetch is four T, three T, three T. Total ten T. direct uh, addressing mode or immediate addressing mode here immediate addressing mode direct we are not giving the address here we are directly giving the immediate data okay no flags affected that is about your lxi instruction just one moment okay so next set of instructions mvr comma 8 bit data that we will discuss i mean just brief you i am giving you before go proceeding further because one by one one by one all instructions we are discussing it will be like boring for you when 8085 executes this instruction immediately 8 bit data is copied to the register r next 
move m v i m comma data here r can r will get the data here the h l register pair will get the data it is used for exchanging the data and we need to discuss uh, move r comma m m comma r are the pending ones okay we'll start now again all of them one by one we will be discussing uh, all these instructions i need to check whether i have done can you uh, okay you cannot tell it is recording na move m comma r and r comma m i have covered or not I'm just checking that. Sixth lecture. Yeah, this is done. Move M comma R, R comma M are discussed already. Hmm. Only M V I instructions are not done. Nah? These things. Yeah. So how many instructions are left over? Is uh, in the data transfer group of instruction. One, two, three, four, five, three, four, five instructions. That will wind up this uh, arithmetic. That will complete the this one data transfer group of instruction. Then we'll move for the next. Okay. Okay, so let's see this instruction M V I R comma eight bit. So here move immediately uh, the content of this uh, eight bit data to the registers uh, specified in the instruction. Uh, so let's see uh, when eight zero eight five executes this instruction, immediate eight bit data is copied to the register R. So let's move this.
So when 8085 executes the instruction, uh, immediate 8 bit data is copied to the register R. So for example, it is a very simple instruction, straight away copy this number to the accumulator. ये नंबर जो होता है ना वो तो accumulator में copy करना, accumulator, केवल accumulator सर, नहीं कोई भी register पे, MVI R कामा data. A R का जगह में you can have accumulator, B register, C register, D register, any, any, any register. Individual register, not total register pair. Register pair तो नहीं है, केवल single register. This is done. Now, when 8085 executes this instruction, immediate 8 bit data is copied to the register. Uh, copied to ho gaya. Then what happens? Uh, Let us let me show you that with the help of a, uh, what we call this one. Same way, a, a comma 45 is my example, right? Am I audible? Set 2000. आपका date of birth कोई कोई भी ले लो, it's your convenience. MVI का आप कोड होता है first. इसको fetch करने के बाद computer जी समझ होता है, ये specified register जो होता है ना, वो register पे next वाला byte जो होता है ना, वो इसको data जैसा treat करके, it should be copied. That is the immediate data available in this instruction will be copied to the specified register. So, you have 45 in our example. So, this will be memory read and accumulator or whatever may be the register you have selected that will be copied to 45. Whatever the number you want to save, that number we need to give. Next. Next, listen here. One minute please. When 8085 executes this instruction, immediate 8 bit data is copied to register. Okay, that is fine, that is okay. Now see here. Firstly, tell me how many bytes of memory is required here? Instruction itself requires two bytes. Okay. How many machine cycles? Two. What are they? Up code fetch memory read 4 T states 3 T states 7 T states ok here immediately the data is given so immediate addressing this you need not remember automatically we can write logically flags are affected because it's a what we call uh, this one 
memory transfer instruction data transfer instruction no arithmetic and logical operations involved in this next instruction same model another instruction that is mvi r comma sorry m comma 8 bit data Right. In this instruction what happens, uh, immediately uh, the 8 bit data will be copied, there it is copied to register. Here M pair, what is M? M is nothing but a HL register pair, only HL register pair is called memory pointer M. So for HL register pair 16 bit Nasser, how we copy 8 bit data? No, the address pointed by the HL register pair, the address pointed by the HL register pair. Okay, so listen here. So let's take one example. So I'm not reading these lines because I'm anyway explaining. Move immediately the 8 bit data specified in the instruction to the memory location pointed by the HL register pair. Say for example, HL contains any random number always 2500 2434 just for a change okay and already HL is having this okay and now I say MVI M comma 46 hexadecimal now what happens let us see it might be a little boring because repetition of the same stuff but what happens is you will definitely enjoy its fruits once the instructions are completed while we are doing the problems any problem you can smash like anything before last lecture I have done many problems all of them you can answer if you attend my all lectures like seventh lecture I have done many questions so those who attended first six lectures can do that easily address 2000 okay 2001 2434 here some random junk number is there okay here I'll write the instruction MVIM comma 46. Now I will do the opcode fetch 
I will understand. Yes, next byte. I means computer. After fetching that, it will understand. Next byte is what we call uh, this one. Next byte is a memory byte. So we should. Uh, I mean, the data is to be copied. Uh, so it will do the memory read. So after reading this memory. Uh, then it will use a HL register pair to the address bus and it will come here and now replace this number with 46. That is memory write. Okay. So, in these cases your temporary registers will be taking care of this uh, data because here we do not store it anywhere but we cannot keep it in the bus for a long time. So, what we do is we may use a WZ register, temporary registers, this temp uh, we means computer inside. It will use the temporary registers, the WZ and what we temp, three are there na, these are temp is generally used in ALU operations. Okay? Uh, so, WZ are mostly used in these cases. So, these are the registers mostly used, uh, the temporary register will be used here to store this number first, then that the data will be copied here because bus cannot have hold this number for a long time because bus is also required for other operations to keep this address bus is required, uh, after that we need to again take that number and write it. Okay. So, uh, this is what happens, so let us find the number of machine cycles all those stuff. Firstly, 2 byte instruction, nextly uh, how many machine cycles, 2 machine cycles, up code fetch, memory read. 4t plus 3t. Next, 70 states. Very important, please try to answer it. What kind of addressing mode it is? It is not the same as what we have discussed in the previous case. There the addressing mode is different, here the addressing mode is different. There it is immediate addressing mode. Here also we can say immediate, but to be more precise, we have used the memory pointer also, na? so it can be register indirect addressing mode or immediate addressing mode. Okay, and no flags, affected. That's all. These are the things. Okay about uh, MVAM. Still we have three more instructions in this exchange, SHLD and LHLD. We will discuss all of them. I will take half an hour more and I will end the session for time being. Then after based on the views for this particular video, next video again I will upload that is what is what I have given in the starting now. Uh, based on the views again one video like that I will be uploading I may not be able to take the live uh, it depends uh, if the views are very good maybe I will start live back again but this syllabus will be finished okay at least if I complete the instruction set now remaining all new own also you can read 
I don't want to leave anything in the middle that's why I take back this again. So let's start the next instruction exchange. Exchange the contents of HL register pair with the DE register pair. Okay. So this is a very simple instruction here exchanging the data. So if you have some HL register pair the content of HL is copied to DE and the content of DE will be copied to HL. This is what happens in the exchange instruction exactly. So it's a single stage, single step instruction. XCHC. Let me give you an example. For example, HL contains 1, 2, 3, 4. DE contains 5, 6, 7, 8. Suppose you have XCHG instruction. Okay. So what happens after this instruction? HL will get 5, 6, 7, 8. D E will get 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. This part will come to here. This is only for H and L, not for other instructions. H and D E uh, for other uh, what we call B C uh, other, other register pairs, it is not available this instruction. Only one byte instruction. only opcode fetch because if this operation is internal no need to access any memory assume HL and DE is having this data already it is initially present okay initially this data is available readily one byte instruction one machine cycle of code fetch 40 states and this is an all register addressing mode no flags affected okay these are the things about uh, exchange instruction uh. actually in this instruction um, I already told that earlier there is something called fetch execute overlap. What is the meaning of FEO? Fetch execute overlap. So fetch execute overlap mein kya hota hai, sir? Mm, that is uh, during the 
t1 t2 of next instruction that is like t4 i i have counted only t4 states what about the when uh, when will you get this uh, operation to be performed because 4t states are required just to uh, decode itself just to read the opcode decode it four tight states are completed then when will you get this t1 t2 i mean the, when this job will be done is t1 t2 of next instruction because at that time there is internal registers are not free because next instruction ka opcode fetch uh, it is going on so opcode fetch mein kya hota hai first instruction mein ale will be one address will be copied next instruction then uh, ale is made equal to zero D data bus is ready ready read bar signal is given pc is incremented by one that is the um, next instruction ka fetch cycle so us samay pe internally what happens is this process will be completed that is your l and e is exchanged and d and h will be exchanged okay that's why this time is never counted in the opcode fetch but there are some instructions where this is to be done then only next fetch can be completed like branching instructions in that time definitely we will count it Okay, let's move further. Just one minute, I miss something. next one load hl pair directly that is uh, see here everybody can give you this basics of what is the meaning of ex ex exchange but these minute details are there na these are important okay these minute details you must be careful
So LHLD 16-bit address load HL pair directly with the contents of two consecutive memory locations whose starting address is specified in the instruction. So here H and L, H and L will be copied with the top two locations of the memory, okay, which are specified in the instruction. Suppose you specify 2000, say 2000 and 2001 location mein jo data hota hai na, those are given to HL register pair. That is done by this uh, what we call LHLD. So first uh, data uh, will be given to what we call L, the second data will be given to H. So let me show you that. For example, L will be copied with the content of H will be copied with the content of this is what happens with LH LD okay so how we store this in the memory? Say this is the address. Right. If you want 2405 now, first we should write 5, then 4, upcode fetch it will do, then it will do the memory read, memory write, sorry memory read, after upcode fetch computer understand it is LHLD instruction, then automatically next 2 bytes it will copy to the uh, temporary registers W1 child. Now, wz will be given to address bus wz plus 1 will be given to address bus next okay so here you have some randomly take the number 33 44 first it will do the memory read and copy to l and again it will do the memory read and copy to H. So first address me jo hota hai na, that will come to L. Second address me jo hota hai na, that will come to H. So this is what happens. Right.
Okay, see here. How many bytes instruction? Three byte instruction. How many machine cycles? One, two, three, four, five. What are they? Up core fetch plus four memory read. Four T plus three T plus three T. Three T plus three T. Next sixteen T. So far this will take more time. Next here uh, HL directly we are copying a direct addressing. No flags effect. You can have a glance. So our last 15 minutes. Just go through it. That entire instruction, I mean, has a glance because it is copying two bytes at a time maybe it will take more time so lastly one more instruction is left over with this data transfer group of instructions so that is SHLD that we are going to discuss now So the next one SHLD store the HL register pair. load and store always complementary to each other load is uh, copying the accumulator store is copying the content of accumulator to others the same way here uh, load is copy to hl store is copy from hl to two consecutive memory locations consecutive means uh, two side by side instructions store HL contents into two consecutive memory locations whose starting address is specified in the instruction.
say for example hl contains Four thousand five thousand fifty. Okay, then SHLD. So I say three thousand. Then three thousand will be getting content of L. Okay. That is fifty, and the next location three thousand one contains the content of H. What is the content of H? Forty. This is initial value. Okay. Same story. First upcode fetch, then read the address. Read the address. Uh, then W Z. That will be given to address bus anyway. Now H and L. L is copied to. Copied to the three thousand location. L contains fifty, and H is copied to forty. Okay, this is L and H. Memory write. Previously memory read, now memory write. That's the difference. Remaining all are same. So that will finish your data transfer group of instructions happily. We have just we will have a glance about all instructions which we have discussed, and we can end the session.
see here one byte instruction no three byte instruction right uh, how many machine cycles five machine cycles up code fetch to memory read to memory write no need to remember as you know 4t 3t 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 16t what is the addressing mode direct addressing mode no flags affected <sighs> that will finish your total data transfer group of instructions okay and just a moment Okay, listen. So these are the things for you, uh, SHL instruction. So at home you do one thing. This anyway, I mean just for your understanding, all of them are completed. All of them are completed. Uh, and yeah these many many instructions of half of more than half we have done already right then i am not going to start arithmetic group today because we don't have sufficient time already we took more amount of time so today what i will do is i'll just write about all the instructions at one glance just You just remember tomorrow I mean next lecture I will just recollect by seeing this it is a register addressing mode 1 byte instruction 4 T states you can directly say like that move R comma M move M comma R M V I R comma data data means always 8 bit address means I mean exceptional cases are there MVI M comma 8 bit data then LDA 16 bit address STA 16 bit address next LDAX RP <coughs> STAX RP exchange LXI RP comma 16 bit data here 2 bytes LHLD ok address 
lastly SHLD address. These are three bytes and these are direct addressing, immediate addressing, register addressing, indirect addressing, okay. And direct addressing, immediate addressing, immediate addressing, register addressing, indirect addressing, everything we have discussed, okay. Sorry, indirect addressing, register addressing. All of them we discussed at home. Just try to see the instruction, understand the meaning, and what is the addressing mode. Everything you write on your own, just as a summary, so that it will be like a quick revision. Tomorrow, I mean next lecture, we discuss arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, increment, decrement. Uh, in 8085, we also have uh, double addition. All these uh, BCD addition, uh, okay, DAD. Uh, DAA, decimal adjust accumulator, all these options are available. These things we will be doing in the next lecture. Okay. So, for notes, I hope you have my telegram channel, an academy official telegram channel of mine. My an academy. Official telegram channel Shankar 10 or I can give the link t dot me Shankar 2023 just type it you can join there no issue you can there I will provide you the notes up to now whatever we discussed the sare notes is available just I will share the PDF for the unacademy community also in unacademy community I will be sharing it please uh, download the app and join the community also ok so once again I want to share a few inputs regarding the subscription all these instructions we have done here many so the rank improvement batch is uh, started creatrix rank improvement batch much weighted batch so if you want to take the subscription don't delay it further use the code shankar 10 networks uh, maybe i'll start from november 3rd my health is not good as you people know so once i recover i'll start it okay morning 7 15 to 9 15 already math started and uh, ankit goels are uh, EDC also started and this batch is for 2024 Gurukul batch is also started so hardly you have very less amount of time you want to take the subscription with the loan also you can call to an academy uh, and you can take the details it will help they will help you and all these are the benefits of an academy subscription you will be getting classes by top educators, regular doubt solving sessions, many, many, many benefits. And other than that, if you need a, what we call printed notes, etc., etc., you can go for, I mean, personalized guidance, then you can go for the iconic subscription. You get the printed notes, a personalized mentorship, okay, all these you will be getting with the iconic subscription. So, thank you very much for your time. Kindly share this video so that it will reach more number of students. After that, you can get the new video. Okay. Thank you. I will share the notes in the telegram channel.